What's good y'all, it's Turk and I'm back with another video and today it's gonna be a little different, it's a little different, we ain't gonna be walking around too much, we ain't gonna be sitting down today, but today I got something special for you because my male friends is always asking me, what do I use on my beard? So today, I got a beard routine for you and I'll let you know exactly what I do with my beard in time. Time. I've been at it, I've been moving with a purpose Show respect to execution If I got it, I deserve it, let them know Every day I go hard, cause I want it all This was all hard work, luck was not involved Okay, 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 so I do this about every two days now, I moisturize every day But as far as shampooing and conditioning every two days you could do three if you want to. I don't think it's necessary to wash every day, but it's absolutely necessary to moisturize every single day. So I did my little shopping on it. Well, not shopping, but I did my research online looking for different products. And I see a bunch of bozo things that they're always advertising on like Facebook, IG, and things like that. Until I found something that Looked like it was for me, and luckily it was. I got it, and instantly, I loved it. And to add, it's black owned. So the first thing you wanna do is shampoo. What shampoo, you may ask. I got you. I use beard and face cleanser. I call this by nature. It does a good job getting all the excess dirt out. You've been working all day, you know you're outside, you play football like myself. It comes out like foam. All you need is about two, three pumps. Maybe four. And you just go wild with it. Rub it in, get everything. That's my shampoo by Coils by Nature. Coils with a K. Okay, and as you probably know, after you shampoo, you want to condition your beard. What do I use for conditioner? I got you. It's right here. So I use Coils by Nature Beard Detox Conditioner. It's been working well for me, and I know you guys, especially men with curlier beards or more coarse beards, this will be your go-to product. Of course, you use this as step two after you shampoo. So those are the things you do while in the shower. And even though those are important, it's very important when you do, when you get out the shower. So, you know, you get your towel, pat dry, pat dry. You don't want to rub too, treat, treat your beard like your baby. You don't want to be all rough. You don't want to scrub too much, you know, just pat dry, pat dry, you know, get the hair too while you're at it. If you, if you shampooed and conditioned that. When you get out the shower, it's okay to be a little damp, just a little damp, not too wet. You don't want to be dripping, but you don't want it to be completely dry. But even if you are, this is something that'll help you. This is Beard and Face Moisturizer by Coils by Nature. Coils with a K, link in the description. So this is the Beard and Face Moisturizer. Now, this, it feels like lotion, just like body lotion, but it's for your beard but it's a beard and face moisturizer so it's okay if you get some on your face if you get some on your high cheeks because you miss your beard a little bit just rub it all in because it's literally like lotion it's for your beard and your face so as you moisturize your beard go ahead and get your face all you need is about maybe four little drops of this i like to shake it up right before i use it open it then just get a little bit on your hands like that and you get your beard moisturize it moisturize and if you get some on your face it's okay because it's a face moisturizer as well so that's all right now the comments i get on this which i wish they'll change but this i'm not gonna lie the smell of their moisturizer is like baby powder so I put this on I go out I give somebody a hug they're like whoa you got a baby or you just changing a baby it's like no that's my face moisturizer it smells like baby powder um, yes so it's 
smell like Johnson Johnson. But it's not the color of Johnson Johnson, so I know it's not. So, so after you moisturize your beard, you want to lock in that moisture. So what's better than beard butter? What beard butter? I got you. This is beard butter by Corey's by Nature. Corey's with the K. I'll leave the link in the description. So this is the beard butter. If you can see that, yeah, I've been using a little bit. Um, it looks like cocoa butter, but it's not. Um, it's a butter. All you need is a little bit on your finger. This is how much I use, just that, on the tip of my finger. Again, just like the moisturizer, you put it on the palm, spread it really well, and let's lock in that moisturizer. It's like a coat over the moisturizer. And to be honest, to get somebody to do it for you, I never had anybody do it for me, but it feels good. I'm telling you, after you wash your beard, you condition it and you put these products in, it feels like, it honestly feels like you don't have a beard. It's like the beard is being lifted off your face. You know as a little kid where you get in a bathtub, you take a bubble bath and you put the suds on your face and you could kind of hear it crackling and like foaming up or, or dissolving but like it feels so light you could feel your face getting well the soap on your face getting lighter that's what it feels like when you put all these products in. no you don't hear the crackling and you don't hear your beard dissolving but it, it really feels like your beard is just like it it wants to lift up more than stay down it's like oh my goodness even though it's not. Maybe a weird description, but I'm telling you, that's how I feel, and it's a good feeling for me. It's the last step. You gotta use beard oil before you walk out there so you can have that glistening. You, you just wanna be shining. I'm telling you, that is a good feeling to be shining. And yeah, I, I got you guys. You wanna shine, and you probably know what I'm gonna say. Link in the description. Here's the oil I use. So this oil is by Beard Heritage. It's supposed to help with beard growth and give you that shiny and good look. This stuff smells great. So this stuff do smell very good. It comes with a little thing like this, okay? On the bottle, it says eight drops. I'm special, I like to use 10 drops. Um, and even 10 drops is smaller than a dime. Make sure you spread it well on your palms and rub it in. And this stuff smells really, really good. I get compliments on it all the time. The only part is the moisturizer smells like baby powder, so it overpowers the scent that this gives off. Get about that much. They say eight drops. I'm going to do 10. I like my rule breaker. Because I was talking to you guys, I lost count. I don't know how many drops I just did, but try to stay between eight and 10. You don't want to use too much because this stuff ain't cheap, but it is worth it. You just rub it in. Make sure you get the mustache, you know. It's okay to put some on your eyebrows. It does promote beard growth. So, you know, you want thicker eyebrows. You want a little thicker mustache. You know, and really get into the spots where you feel like you're not growing at. So I have this here. I barely have a soul patch, even though my dad does. And you just gotta get in there. You gotta get in here. I like this to connect here between my mustache and my beard on my cheek. I want it to be like one level. So, you know, I'm missing like a half an inch here. So you get into the places where you feel like it's hard to really uh, grow at. And again, Beard Heritage does promote uh, beard growth. Um, they use all original herbs and spices, not all this chemically induced stuff. Now, I did get a package deal from Coils by Nature. It was about 60 bucks. It did come with its own oil. I do have it. So I do have the oil by Coils by Nature, but I have not used it yet, so I can't tell you how much of a review I can really give you. Um, 
I haven't used it yet, not because it's not good. I'm not saying that I just haven't got a chance to use it because the first thing I ever bought for my beard was oil. And that was from Beard Heritage. I thought that you only needed oil until I was schooled that said you need to wash with, with actual beard wash because I used to use the wash for my head for my beard. So it wasn't good. Um, I was I was taught I, I looked it up you know I did my homework I found out well you got to have your own beard wash your beard conditioner and then um, just oil isn't enough so this is a five-step process I hope this guys helped you a little bit the link is in the description this stuff is really good and for the very very last step I like to do personally I love when my beard looks full so I go from behind, like my ear, here, and I pick it out. And then when I get to the bottom, I come straight down. And then when I get to this side, from the behind the ear, towards my chin. It is a good feeling. I can see my beard glistening. I feel like a new man. You know? You know? See where it's hard to grow at here, you know, that's why you get the oil there. And you're glistening, you go out in the sun, <laughs> you're getting a bunch of compliments, you hug somebody, you're getting a bunch of compliments on the scent, and that is my beard routine. I hope this could help somebody out there who's looking for a beard routine. This is mine, and as a man with a curly beard, as a black man, I suggest this. Even if you're white, no matter what race you are, I would suggest you try this plan. Just give it a shot. It's not that much money. It's not that expensive to try this out and it could change your life. <laughs> so that's my time, y'all. I'm sir. I'm out. Dad, what's wrong? My life's a TV show. Here's another episode. Sticking to the scripts where I'm always skeptical. Starring me.